guys, we have reached the site. Basically, as a project engineer, your job is to support the construction team by doing a lot of construction administration work, which is the paperwork stuff, the communication part of construction, which is trying to relay information from the subcontractors over to the architect, architect back to the subcontractors. And your job also is to monitor the site and sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of moving pieces, especially when it comes to, you know, running a construction site. Some of the paperwork include RFIs, which is request for information, submittals, as builds, closeouts, warranty, um, punch list, inspections. There's a lot. So, so what is an RFI? What is a request for information? RFI basically is what you send over to the architect when the subcontractor is trying to request for an information. It could be, oh, give me one second here. I was just talking to the subcontractor. Subcontractor was asking, was trying to clarify some issues and my job as a PE is to reach out to the architect and ask them for information so that I can take that information pass it back to the subcontractor. So basically, this is like the biggest part of a project engineer's job, which is to handle the communication between subcontractors and architects and owners, engineers, and sometimes inspectors. So there's a lot of moving pieces. Your job is to stay organized, stay consistent. You know, there's, it can be really stressful sometimes when there's a lot going on. But your job is to stay calm and composed and not break down when you're facing an obstacle. So we talked about the RFI. Submittal is when subcontractors submit a product data or cut sheets or, or specifications of the product or equipment that they're, they're proposing. Before they install the equipment in the site, they need to get approval first from the architect and so they would send over submittal submittal so some of the biggest things to remember as a PE is to stay organized because a lot of times when you're faced with so many different stakeholders so many people involved so many documents being transmitted from one to another it's very hard to stay organized number one you gotta be organized and consistent and sort things out in your folders so you don't forget them. Number two, always use a sticky note or a to-do list. Like for me over here, I do have my own list. I write down the things I have to do for the week so I never lose track. Number three, I would say be a team player because you're going to be working with your project manager, your superintendent. Sometimes you're working with other project engineers or senior project engineers or assistant project managers and then you're also be, you're also going to be working with people in the field the subcontractors they're always going to come to you for help you have to go out there and assist them you know um, you have to be a team player number four I would recommend having good time management skills because you want to get things done as soon as possible so you can move on to the next thing I would say that as a PE your job is to um, blow out the fires because there's going to be a lot of fires out there and there's going to be like a few people coming to you at once for different things and your job is to stay calm and composed um, blow out the fires one step at a time and and not get so stressed out and that's the hard part 
And lastly, number five, I would say don't forget to have fun because at the end of the day, life is not about work. I mean, kind of is about work. I mean, it kind of, life isn't all about work. That's what I'm trying to say. Life is supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be enjoyable. CEO of Amazon said this, if you're not happy at work, you're not going to be happy at home. And if you're not happy at home, you're not going to be happy at work. So have fun. And over here, see that? For now, this is it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And feel free to subscribe as well because more videos are coming your way. I'm going to take off. So peace out. Take care. And I will see you in my next video.